can buy anything I want now. Video games, snacks, clothes, shoes, cars, and another house if I wanted to. Look, kid, you wear a nice suit and you got a nice tie on, but shouldn't you be at school right now? I don't see Mom, Reggie, or Duncan here. My dad stole money to buy Mom's medicine, but why? Reggie and Duncan had saved so much money. stole money to buy mom's medicine? But why? Reggie and Duncan had saved so much money. Why didn't dad just take the money from them? He wouldn't have gotten arrested then. What happened to mom, dad, Reggie and Duncan? I'm a millionaire now. What if I bring Mom, Dad, and Reggie Duncan to my new house? I know they always used to make fun of me. They always said that I was lazy and that I never brought any money to the house to them. But they're still my family. I'll do it. I'll help my family. Anything I want now. Video games, snacks, clothes, shoes, cars, and another house if I wanted to. So, why can't my family move in with me? Maybe then they could finally be proud of me. Maybe then they will love me just as much as Reggie and Duncan. so cool and amazing right now. This is my first time in the city with money in my pockets. I always dreamed of buying cool new clothes to wear, and now it's finally happening. I could go see my dad right now, but I have to find my mom first, so I'm going to find her. has a limousine. And I'm holding a luxury magazine in my hand that talks about all the cool and crazy expensive limousines in Brookhaven. You know your boy's gonna get one. Plus, it comes with a chauffeur, too. Being a millionaire is so fun. <laughs> up there, kid. Calm down your horse. Actually, calm all your horses. I don't know what you're doing here, kid, but this limousine is booked for a celebrity. Do you see that big estate there? Yeah, this limousine belongs to the new millionaire in town. But I'm the owner of that estate. Say what? Look, kid, you wear a nice suit and you got a nice tie on, but shouldn't you be at school right now? Oh, wait a minute. Is this one of those games the kids play where they pretend to be like their heroes one day? That's cute, but I don't have the time. I'm your boss now, so you work for me and you're going to drive that limousine for me. Since you work for me now, I want you to drive me to the city. I want to find my mom and I'm not going to walk in the city searching for her. Now, I'm going to sit inside my limousine. Sorry, kid. No money means no business and... Yes, boss. Sorry, boss. By the way, what's your name? I'm Jaden Grayson, and you're my new best friend now. 
My name's Chris, and it's a pleasure to work with you, boss. I'll take you to the city right now. see mom Reggie or Duncan here I came to the park first to search for my mom because she visits the park every day she told me the park is the best way to make money since it's always crowded I guess my mom was wrong nobody is here where could she be boss where do I take you to next I don't know Chris I know I told you to take me to the city so I can find my mom but I can't find her anywhere I'm worried about her and I miss her I'm thinking about the next place she could go to but nothing's coming to mind what am I going to do? There is one thing you can do, boss. to the best restaurant in town, sir. We can't search for your mom on an empty stomach, and definitely not with a long face like that. What will your mom think if she realizes that her son, the youngest millionaire in town, is sad? Don't worry, we'll find her. You're right, Chris. I can't find my mom being sad. I want to show her that I am happy, and that I'm a millionaire now. She'll be so surprised when she sees me wearing this suit. I'm going to have her meet my best friends, too. You and Sonya. Sonya, huh? Does your mom know that you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Stop it. She's not my girlfriend. She's just my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, after looking at all the delicious hot dogs, pizzas, and burgers, I can tell that they don't look soggy. I'm so hungry that I could finish all the food in this restaurant. I'm gonna try the hot dog first and see what happens. I hope it's good. It's all yours, boss. Eat all you want. We can share, Chris. Eat with me. My mom worked at a laundromat for a very long time, Chris. Maybe she was just busy washing clothes all day. She has multiple jobs, so she's always moving around in the city. The laundromat keeps her busy by sending her to deliver people's clothes. She has to be there. I'll wait right here for you, boss. Thank you, Chris. You're really cool. I thought you were my mom. Ugh. How worried am I that I thought another lady that I don't even know was my mom? I miss her. I miss her so much. I hope those are tears of joy, boss. What happened inside? Did you finally find your mom? Please say yes. You have been searching for her for hours now. If your mom isn't here, then we'll have to search for her again. I'll drive you anywhere you want, boss. 
I'm scared, Chris. I left my house because I thought my parents loved Reggie and Duncan more than me. But I miss my family. They were strict with me. They never let me inside the house, and I didn't even have my own room. Now, I think that being rich is so lonely. You want to show your family your success. Isn't that right, boss? My mom is sick. <sighs> That's why I want to find her first. What if she collapsed somewhere, Chris? We'll find her by the end of the day. We can't go crying like that. Let's cheer you up, boss. Wow, I'm here at the arcade again. So, you have been here before, sir? I have. Sonia invited me to a birthday party of one of the meanies at her school, Ruben. He stole my hot dog from me once, but now I can eat whatever I want, whenever I want, and wherever I want. Being rich is the best! Boss, why don't you invite Sonia to your house? She would love it. Maybe you can return the favor by spending time with her. And once you find your mom, then you can introduce her to your family. <laughs> she is going to love that. I am sure of it. You're right, Chris. I hope we find my mom. searched everywhere for my mom, Chris. I was sure that my mom would be here. She takes a walk by the lake every night before she comes home. She always told me that she wanted to be rich and have a boat one day. Where is she, Chris? I want to see my mom again. You have been searching all day for her in the city, boss, but the day is not over yet. We can look in the city one last time before we call it a day. Don't give up. As long as you keep searching for her, you'll find her. Just think about everywhere she could be. Tell you what, let's go get some ice cream, boss. Ice cream? That's the first thing I wanted to try when I became rich. Then we'll get you the best ice cream in the city. Maybe we can find your mom at the ice cream store. Thank you for getting me an ice cream, boss. I can't tell you how good it is to eat ice cream with someone. I think everyone should eat ice cream together instead of eating it alone. Anyways, I wanted to ask you something. Where did you get all your money from? Oh, I didn't get this money. I just found it. Is one million dollars a lot of money? I thought it's normal for everyone to have one million dollars at least. <laughs> but if it isn't, then I got lucky. I always wanted to be rich. Now I'm a millionaire who doesn't know how to spend it. <laughs> <laughs> you bought a big house, a big car, cool clothes, and now we're having ice cream together, boss. Do you know what I think? I think you are spending your money like a kid with a million bucks should. Enjoy the little things, because one day, you'll look back to your childhood. I know you feel weird working for a 13-year-old kid, but the truth is, Chris, I always wanted to be someone cool. Every day, I used to see people my age going to school, having friends and playing Roblox. Now, I can finally have a real childhood, and I want it with my family. Boss, you did not have the best childhood. But look, now you're the youngest millionaire in Brookhaven, and you can buy anything you want. No one will judge you for living your life the way you want to. And don't worry about your family. I'm sure we're going to find them.
You're the first real friend I made, Chris. I'm so happy I met you, and you always make me smile when I'm sad. I think of you as my big brother, a big brother that I never had. Can you get another ice cream for me? I really have to use the bathroom, so I'll be right back. You got it, boss. Mom! Oh my god! I found my mom and she has a really bad fever. I had a bad feeling she would collapse somewhere and I was right. Chris also told me that we might find her at the ice cream store. I'm so happy I found you, Mom. I'll get help. Chris, help me please. Help! Yesterday, I heard about what happened to dad and ever since then I was so worried about you that I searched every part of the city and then I found you with a really bad fever. Oh my gosh, Jaden! Is that you? Look at you. You're wearing a nice suit and you even brought me here after everything I did to you. I was so mean to you and I never saw how hard you were trying to fit in at home. When you left, I realized how lucky I am to have you. I love you, Mom. I forgive you. Please don't leave again, Jaden. Good news, boss. The hospital has discharged her, and we can take her home now. I have also got the medicine you asked for. Is there anything else you want me to do before we leave? We are ready to go to the next place. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Chris, Mrs. Grayson. What? Jaden, honey, I'm so confused. What is going on? Who is this man, Chris? I have so many questions. I'll explain everything to you, Mom. But first, we have to get Dad. Now, let's get you home. Uh? Oh my gosh, this is all a dream, isn't it? is coming to save me. But the only regret I have is that I wasn't a good father to Jaden. I wish I treated him fairly instead of picking favorites. Now, look at me. I'm miserable, smell like jail, and I can't even take back what I did. I wish I had a second chance. Jaden, what are you doing here? What are you wearing? You look so different. I can't believe it. What am I doing here? Duh, I came back for you, Dad. I heard you got arrested, so I paid them to free you. <sighs> After what I did to you? Jaden, I promise I'll be a better father. Can you forgive me, please? I love you, Dad, and I forgive you. Now let's go home. Oh, say hello to my chauffeur, Chris. Chauffeur? 
fur. Wait a second. What is going on? I really need an explanation, son. Dad, I know you have a lot of questions, but I promise I'll answer all of them once we're inside the house. I'll answer two of the questions I know you're going to ask. Yes, this is my house, and yes, that is my car. I can't, I can't believe this is happening. We finally have a house. This is our house. I said some horrible things to you, son. Something that a father should never say. But you have proven to me that you're a man of your words. You said you wanted to do something that no one ever did, and you did it, son. You have a house now. You are successful and rich. We're all gonna live together as a family, Dad. We are a family. I always compared you to Reggie and Duncan. I always saw them, but I never saw you. You love us even after what we did to you. All we wanted was to save money and buy a house one day, but we struggled and forgot that it is important to stay together as a family. I forgive you, Mom. I forgive you, Dad. I know life isn't sunshine and rainbows. You did what you thought was best for me, Reggie and Duncan, and I don't blame you. I'm just happy we're all here inside a big house and we never have to worry about being poor ever again. <laughs> 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 After I found my mom and freed my dad from jail, they told me about what happened with Reggie and Duncan. My brothers took all the money that my family worked hard to earn to buy a house and live far away from us. That is why dad had to steal the medicine for mom. Now, my dad and mom never have to steal again. The one million dollars I spent to buy a car, house, clothes, and food to have a happy life with mom and dad belonged to Vincent, a criminal that escaped from jail. Since I did not know that his money was illegal, the police didn't arrest me. Vincent broke into my house one day and got arrested. Now, Vincent spends the rest of his life in jail. What I learned is that I do not I come from a rich family, but I come from a really good family. No family is perfect. We argue, we fight, and we even stop talking to each other at times. But in the end, family is family, and the love will always be there. Rich people have money, but poor people have families. 